Google's streaming OS is fine, but with a few applications, Android TV and Google TV can be even better, and it doesn't take long to improve the experience. So here are some apps that we love and think you should check out for this year. Stick around though by hitting the subscribe button for more on Android, Android TV, plus anything and everything related to Google, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Or if you even go on better and hit that join button to become a channel member and get tons of extra content from wallpapers to behind the scenes videos, we'd love to have you as a paid member. So forget the usual streaming applications, they differ by region anyway. Here's the real deal. We're gonna give you a collection of free apps that work almost anywhere to boost your Android TV experience. No subscriptions, no hidden fees, just pure entertainment. That said, there are a couple of paid for applications that we think are worth the price tag, so we have included them in this list. So if you're tired of your same old screensaver on your Android TV devices, well, you should definitely take a look at the Aerial Views app. This Android TV app replaces a default screensaver with a collection of 4K HDR videos, transforming your idle TV into a window to picturesque landscapes, cityscapes, and more. With over 150 videos to choose from, there really is lots of choice. You can use your own videos if you want, but that will require an external drive and does need to be set up from the app settings. If you're worried about what this might do to your TV, well, there is a built-in burning prevention for OLED screens. Aerial Views also caters to both visual appeal and display care because of that. Plus, it also works seamlessly with popular devices like Nvidia Shield and Chromecast with Google TV devices with a little bit of setup. As I said, if you have a Chromecast with Google TV device and some other Android TV set-top boxes, the process of setup requires a few extra steps so that you can set aerial views as the default screen saver surface. It's also worth noting that if you choose the default videos, it probably will use a lot of bandwidth given that the 4K HDR. So I would say proceed with caution if you're worried about hitting data caps. All of the information will be down in the description for you to get started with aerial views though. Home screen replacements are uncommon on Android TV, but you can get a refined and streamlined experience with apps like Projectivity Launcher. The biggest draw here is the lack of in-launcher ads, something that Android TV and Google TV have really struggled to contend with in recent years. Projectivity Launcher even supports material you theming with your own or even random wallpapers and way more to boot. You don't need to use Root to get the most from this, but it does add a few functions that aren't available without doing so, such as forced 4K rendering for the entire Android TV UI. Visually, it's a lot like the YouTube TV experience. That means it's simple, it's clean, and really easy to navigate. You won't get annoying content recommendations or ads cluttering up the entire experience of using your Android TV set-top box, and the ability to adjust icon size might be helpful if you wanna simplify Android TV for people not confident using the TV-based interface. So game streaming from your gaming PC isn't new, but applications like Moonlight make Android TV a more comfortable home for your gaming needs. Unlike services such as GeForce Now, you don't actually need to pay a subscription to play your existing PC games with Moonlight. The caveat though, is that you do need a local gaming PC to get this working, so I wouldn't say it's a console replacement for couch gaming. That said, Moonlight lets you game away from a rigid desk setup and allows you to ditch expensive subscriptions and potentially buggy services. Because you can also play on your local network, issues around lag and general choppiness is definitely less prevalent than using a cloud-based platform. If you do have problems with Moonlight, then it might be worth trying something like Steam Link. However, this doesn't work well with all games on your system rather than just Steam games. This Moonlight solution also improves on the old Nvidia game stream service because AMD graphics cards are also supported. Let me just clarify here, AMD graphics cards are supported. I do have an AMD graphics card myself, but you have to use a service called Sunshine. If you have a big PC game library, I think this could be one of the best ways to game on your TV without dedicated hardware being a requirement. TV Overlay elevates your Android TV experience by seamlessly displaying helpful information on top of your currently playing content and the UI itself. This includes a discrete clock in a chosen corner for easy timekeeping. Also, TV Overlay can inform you of phone notifications via a companion application with smart home updates or even alerts from other services. For important reminders or updates, you can even configure persistent notification icons to stay visible in the corner of your screen. TV Overlay does offer a free tier with basic functionality with additional customization options available through a one-time purchase within that companion application. 
This lets you tailor the experience to your preferences, including adjusting the on-screen ambience with customizable background layers, potentially reducing the need to navigate TV menus for brightness adjustments as well. So after having lots of problems with Android TV apps that tout button remapping services, I've found that TV quick actions is probably the most reliable. There is a free version that you can drive, but I will say that the paid pro tier is definitely worth that full dollar asking price as it opens up even more customization and remote remapping controls. You can remap your remote buttons to almost anything within reason, like a lot of services, but one of the key selling functions is the ability to set up to five actions to specific buttons of your remote itself, which allows you to do far more than many other Android TV applications. Imagine quickly launching your favorite app, switching between HDMI outputs or inputs, or even controlling smart home devices all with a single button quick. Well, TV Actions definitely goes beyond basic remapping, offering those advanced features, like I said, with customizable app docks, sleep timers, and screen dimming night modes as well. Whether you crave a streamlined layout or want to unlock hidden functionalities on your device, TV Quick Actions empowers you to take control of your Android TV set, and it does it for that one-time fee, as I mentioned. Sound TV is an app for those of you who love Twitch streams as it ditches the limitation of mobile apps and offers a big screen experience optimized for navigation with your remote. Unlike some other big screen Twitch applications, you can see and chat alongside the stream, staying connected to the action and the community. Plus, you can personalize your viewing with features like picture in picture mode, VOD playback with chat as well, and the ability to follow your favorite channels from within Sound TV itself. I think whether you're a casual viewer or a hardcore Twitch fan, Sound TV provides a feature rich and user friendly way to enjoy your favorite streamers on the big screen as an alternative to the official Twitch application. Plus, it works seamlessly with most Android TV devices, making it a versatile optional choice for most Twitch users out there. You may not have heard of Geosphere, but this brings a web browsing experience to your Android TV with a user-friendly interface, which is specifically designed for bigger screens. It even boasts a free built-in VPN for added security and privacy. However, the caveat with this VPN is that it requires you to watch a few ads to access it, which might be counterintuitive to the security conscious people out there who would use a VPN anyway. Thankfully, I will say that Geosphere does include a built-in ad blocker for a smoother browsing experience. The only problem that surpasses that is the region locked nature of this application. It's region locked to India as standard, but you can easily sideload it with another app like Send Files to TV, which we have featured on the channel before. I highly recommend doing this though, because I think Geosphere is among the best looking dedicated TV web browsers on the Android TV platform, period. And if you can deal with lots of the suggested content within the home pages being very India focused, and I definitely think it's well worth the effort for you to try this and use this as your default web browser on Android TV. Smart Tube stands out to me from other mobile centric YouTube clients, at least as an option for Android TV. And it boasts features like a built in ad blocker, including those inserted by creators using Sponsor Block for an uninterrupted viewing experience on your TV that isn't destroyed by ads. Plus, its interface is designed specifically for easy navigation on a big screen using your remote control. There are a few things to consider though before giving this a try. Since it's not officially endorsed by YouTube, you can't get it from the Google Play Store and it will need to be downloaded from a trusted external source, one that I will put down in the link below. Additionally, some functionalities like phone casting and voice search may not be as smooth as with the official application and I would say the interface isn't quite as polished. That said, it's really basic and it does get the job done, plus it's completely open source, so it's another bonus, especially if you want another YouTube client that isn't necessarily bogged down with ads. So those are some of our favorite Android TV apps for 2024. I hope that hasn't taken up too much of your time. You can find download links in the description or guides on how to get them installed on Google TV and Android TV sets down there as well. Let me know if you have any apps that you use on the big screen. I'm always interested to hear what you think makes a great TV application. And a big shout out to our channel members on screen now. We love you. But until next time, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.